On October 6, 1967, at 11 o'clock at night, American University snack bar employee Kenneth Tucky Fox was beaten to death with a gun in an armed robbery in the Mary Graydon building. Kenneth's fellow employee, Oscar Baker, made it out of the robbery alive. The robbers left with nothing more than Kenneth's wallet in their pocket and his blood on their hands. When three AU students went downstairs to see what they had heard, no evidence of a murder was to be found. Once police arrived on the scene, they found the victim's body in the woman's bathroom and the gun in the bushes outside of the building. Leela Williams has been working in Mary Graydon since 1966 and was working at the time of the murder. And I had a schedule coming in at six o'clock in the morning. And when I came in, the, you know, the doors was open. The guy's shoes was in the latest bathroom. It, I don't think it was the guy that they killed because that was in the basement. They robbed the cash the lady in the office. The guy they killed, he was white. And the other guy that was here, he was black. Mm -hmm. As police began to investigate further, they discovered that the victim had ran away from his first wife 20 years ago and his second four years ago to escape alimony payments. Memories of times when we could walk freely across AU's uptown campus without fear of being harmed are growing dim. Mm -hmm. Did you feel scared coming back Yes, there? I did. Mm -hmm. After I heard it, and I suppose I've been here in the mornings at six o'clock, and I really was afraid to come in here for a long time. Despite the tragedy so close to home, few AU students and faculty have even heard of the case. No, I didn't, have not. No, I'm not aware of the murder. Never. Are you surprised that you haven't heard of Com it? Completely, I thought I knew everything about this place. <laughs> not until I walked past you today, so <laughs> yeah, no. No, I never knew there was any murders at all ever on this campus. <laughs> I once actually read the history of American University, which is in the archives, and that was, I don't remember that being in, in that story. I think it's hard to say. I mean, I don't necessarily know the scope of how the dynamic was on campus back then. Uh -huh. It's been a while, but I think it's a combination of things. I think news only gets carried on when different people are talking about it and, you know, people are incentivized to keep looking for the truth and sharing that. So I think maybe, Maybe, maybe the university is trying to hide it. I think it's hard to say. Not, not really. I don't think it's something that the, probably the university is promoting. Yeah, no. I mean, I guess I'm not surprised that I haven't heard of it because it would be something you wouldn't really publicize right. to entice people to come to your school. Regardless of how few individuals actually know about this case, a man's life was still taken. A life will never be forgotten. Sharing a story is larger than just the university. It's about the people as well. And unfortunately, it sounds like he had a very tragic ending, but you know, I've been, I just graduated with my master's at U. It's the first time I'm hearing about it. Mm -hmm. So finding ways to share that story is how you move forward and how it encompasses who the university is.